Darkness enveloped us as we trudged through the unforgiving terrain of the Hakoda Mountains. The bitter cold clawed at our skin, the wind howling like a chorus of tormented souls. We were the chosen ones, 210 soldiers sent on a harrowing training exercise by the Japanese Imperial Army. Little did we know, this would become the deadliest mountaineering disaster in recorded history. The year was 1902, a time when tensions between the Japanese Empire and Russia were simmering. The prospect of war loomed, and the Japanese High Command, haunted by the difficulties faced in the First Sino-Japanese War, devised a plan. Two regiments, the 31st and the 5th, were selected for a winter exercise to secure a route across the treacherous Hakoda Mountains. I, Captain Benichi, was tasked with leading the 5th Regiment through the icy wilderness. Little did I anticipate the horrors that awaited us. The biting cold, the merciless blizzards, and the unforgiving mountains would become our icy tomb. As we ascended, the challenges mounted. The sled carrying our gear became an anchor in the deep snow. Dragging it through the freezing landscape tested the limits of our strength. The temperatures plummeted to 30 degrees below freezing, and the winds whipped snow into blinding clouds. The decision to abandon the sled came too late. We pressed on, burdened by heavy gear strapped to our backs. The snow-covered volcano loomed ahead, a daunting obstacle. Climbing became treacherous, and the sled party fell behind, struggling to catch up. Desperation clawed at us, and doubts whispered in the freezing wind. I considered turning back, but the mission demanded persistence. We were not there to seek comfort but to endure the harshest conditions, a simulation of the potential horrors of war. By nightfall, we reached a forest, mere miles from the hot springs. Exhausted and battered, we stumbled upon the advance party, lost in the whiteout. The howling winds and freezing temperatures forced us to dig trenches in the snow, seeking shelter in a merciless wilderness. The night was a symphony of suffering. Charcoal salvaged from the abandoned sled provided feeble warmth, and soldiers huddled around meager fires. Sleep was elusive, and the cold claimed the weak. Our frozen rations mocked us, an irony in the face of our struggle for survival. Morning brought a realization, our path was lost, erased by the blizzard. Major Yamaguchi, my superior, and I faced a dire decision. With uncertainty clouding our judgment, we retraced our steps, climbing cliffs that had claimed lives the night before. The howling wind carried the screams of men falling in the darkness. We pressed on, a desperate march in the heart of a blizzard. The cliffs became our graveyard, each step a gamble with death. The lost were left behind, swallowed by the black abyss. By the second night, the temperature plunged to minus 41 degrees Celsius, a bone-chilling cold that seized us in its icy grip. Shelter was a distant dream, and soldiers succumbed to the freezing embrace of the mountains. The path ahead was shrouded in darkness, and our hope flickered like dying embers. Morning brought a somber reality. Our once formidable group had dwindled to a mere fraction. Major Yamaguchi, unconscious and battered, was carried by those who could still muster strength. I, along with a handful of officers, forged ahead, driven by an indomitable will to survive. Delirium seeped into our ranks. Soldiers, consumed by frostbite, began shedding clothing in a paradoxical dance with the freezing temperatures. Some plunged into rivers, driven mad by the cold, never to resurface. The fabric of leadership unraveled, and the decision was made to dismiss the remnants of our once proud regiment. In the chaotic aftermath, despair painted the faces of those abandoned to the unforgiving wilderness. Separated from the lost, my small group stumbled through the snow-covered landscape, a silent march towards an uncertain fate. The blizzard masked our path, and every step carried us deeper into the heart of the mountains. The once confident leader grappled with the realization, I was lost. Survival became a solitary pursuit. With each passing day, the frozen corpses of comrades served as morbid landmarks. The biting wind whispered tales of despair, the shadows of the fallen etched into the snow. 
Every breath felt like a battle against the cold, a fight against the very essence of death. As we approached a fork in the trail, uncertainty gripped us. The decision to split into two groups was a desperate gamble. Captain Key, leading one party, believed he had found the trail. Hope flickered, only to be extinguished as his path led towards the river, claiming more lives in its icy currents. As the merciless cold tightened its grip on the desolate landscape, only a handful of us emerged from the icy crucible that was the Hakoda Mountains. Among the survivors, Corporal Gotu stood frozen in place, a living testament to the horrors etched into the very fabric of our being by the unforgiving peaks. Like a statue of despair, he symbolized the price we paid for venturing into the heart of nature's wrath. The Hakoda Mountains, once a formidable adversary, had claimed the majority of our comrades, leaving behind a haunting tableau of tragedy. The frozen tableau mirrored the depths of our suffering, a stark reminder of the fragility of human life when pitted against the raw forces of nature. Each life lost became a poignant brushstroke, painting a chilling narrative of our ill-fated journey on the canvas of snow-covered slopes. As the news of our disastrous venture spread, rescue teams mobilized to scour the unforgiving mountains for any signs of life. The relentless pursuit of hope amidst the frozen wilderness unveiled the stark reality of our ordeal. Bodies, frozen in various states of despair, were uncovered from their icy graves, a solemn toll that echoed the magnitude of our misfortune. The mountainous tomb, once a backdrop to our ill-fated journey, transformed into a haunting memorial to the fallen. A silent witness to the tragedy, the Hakoda Mountains bore witness to the sacrifices made in the pursuit of military preparedness. The snow-covered slopes, once a pristine landscape, now held the weight of our collective sorrow, a chilling testament to the unpredictable nature of the wild. An official investigation, a harsh examination of the events that unfolded, laid bare the grim truth surrounding the catastrophe. It revealed a perfect storm of elements conspiring against us, bad weather, inadequate clothing, and faltering leadership. The intricate web of circumstances wove a narrative of disaster, each thread contributing to the tragic tapestry that unfolded on the slopes of the Hakoda Mountains. The deadliest mountain disaster in history, as it came to be known, etched its name into the very fabric of the frigid slopes. The chilling reminder of the thin line between survival and the merciless embrace of the frozen abyss became a somber echo through time. The mountains themselves, once silent witnesses to our struggle, now carried the weight of our collective memory, a haunting legacy for generations to come.